I used to believe that I lacked motivation. I thought I didn't have willpower to stick to my diet, and because of this, I would never reach my goals. Little did I know that willpower was almost completely unnecessary for fat loss, and following a few simple shifts would entirely change my dieting forever. So let's cover the problem with willpower. Willpower is a finite resource. I don't know if you've looked into any of the research on willpower, but we have a daily allowance for willpower. Like this is a real study thing. It's not just some abstract idea. We have willpower inside of us and the more we use it, the more it goes down throughout the day. And along with this, you should know something called decision fatigue, which goes hand in hand with willpower. The more tiny decisions you have to make throughout the day, the more likely you are to not have enough energy for the big decisions that really matter. So if we're only relying on willpower, this can fade. And what happens when the willpower runs out, especially at the end of the day, when we've used all of our brain power for other things like work and social connections and all these other little micro things that we have to manage? When do most people break their diets at the end of the day? Why? Because your willpower is the lowest at the end of the day. And if you don't have the right structure set up, you are always going to cave at the very end. So how do we overcome this? We do this by putting our focus on building systems over willpower. You want to build an environment that helps you succeed. I believe everybody can lose weight as long as they put themselves in the correct environment. If you're only surrounded by healthy food, if you're only surrounded by healthy people, then you are so much more likely to lose weight. I was reading a book the other day and it said something along the lines of, if you have a friend that is overweight, your chances of being overweight go up by 68%, even if they live in a completely different city, which is absolutely absurd. You want to surround yourself with healthy people. You want to surround yourself with healthy food. Put yourself into as many health promoting situations as possible to increase your chances of losing weight. One of the precautions you can take by yourself would be something like meal prepping. If you meal prep, you remove decision fatigue for what you have to eat the next day, which takes all the guesswork away from what you have to eat, making it more likely that you will stick to your diet. And now one way to make this easier is use something called habit stacking. The easiest way to implement new habits is to already add them onto existing ones. Instead of out of the blue starting an exercise routine or adding something new to your diet, incorporate it into something you already do. So let's say you want to drink more water, become more hydrated, or maybe fill yourself up in the mornings because you're very hungry. Instead of doing it out of the blue, maybe do it whenever you drink your morning coffee. It'll make it much more likely that you're going to stick to it. Or meal prep as soon as you just came home and bought your groceries. And every single time you buy groceries, meal prep for the week ahead. You want to start small. Little actions will create a large domino effect over enough time. Stack a bunch of little habits and then after a year, you're going to have a very different lifestyle and diet than you do now. It will take time, but I hope you understand that meaningful progress and meaningful achievements do take a long time. There's a reason why health and aesthetics are praised so much. It's because it is difficult to achieve. So don't be bummed out that progress takes months because that's what makes it and you undergoing the challenge special. If you're ready to take the first step, press the first link in the description and join our free school group. Here you will meet like-minded people and get more direct help from me and our community. If I gave you anything of value within this video, please consider subscribing. It'd really help us out. And don't forget to stay savvy with your diet.